review kind of of the Mafia 2 demo that just came out on the Xbox 360. I haven't noticed that I, I downloaded the Xbox One and then I went to download the uh, PS3 one and uh, it wasn't on there yet so I will do once I've downloaded that one I'm going to do a separate PS3 review too because I think it's important because you know you get different ideas of, of, of tone and feel um, and also I think the controllers are always the main reason to try both demos because you know where they lay out the controls usually it's the same but you know in general it's you know it's basically the same but it does help a lot you know to know w how each one plays so I will do a PS3 review once I've, I've, I've checked that it's on there I haven't checked I've checked a couple of times yesterday but uh, I will check again today so this is the 360 uh, version and I've been looking forward to this uh, game. I didn't really know much about it until the other week, actually. I know, not even the other week, a few days ago. But I thought it looked absolutely fantastic. Uh, the, the, the kind of the visual style, it seems to have a lot going on. It seems bustling and busy. No, sorry, all the characters and the background, you know, details. And I really like the setting of, you know, the, the 19... Uh, I believe it's the 1940s and 50s. Um, I don't think it's early as the Godfather movies. I think the Godfather movies were the 30s. I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, I really like that kind of setting. And there was just some really nice details that I really liked. So I was really looking forward to playing the demo. And I have to say, it's promising. But there's definitely some kind of issues that, that hold it back. I'm going to compare a little bit to GTA in some places. Because it's just natural. Because they're effectively the, the same kind of game. So... Um, Please excuse me if you think that's a, a cheap way of doing things. Well, I'm going to just do it a couple of times, I think. I might not, but I think I will. Okay, so uh, visually it looks nice. It's bright. Uh, the, the level you get is set in the day. It's bright and it is bustling and there's things going on, as I say. People repairing their cars. Um, people selling newspapers. Uh, the, the really nice uh, thing about it also is that you can go into places like a burger bar or um, you know something like that and it's a lot more interactive than GTA was you can actually get a drink and you see him drink it like that or you get a burger and he eats it um, so stuff like that you know it feels a bit more like you could go and have a normal day or enact kind of a life more than you can with GTA um, the combat's fine as well. I think it lacks a certain kind of contact feel when you shoot, but in general, the, 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 the contact's pretty good. Um, I tell you what is good. There's also kind of a bad thing and a good thing, but one thing, you can die in car crashes, which is kind of good because it's realistic. I think it could get annoying if you're in a heated kind of chase and you accidentally crash. But I tell you one thing that is good about it is when you crash, you really feel it. Um, you, you know, you feel hurt you feel like you want to get out of the car and move on which was really really good um what else was quite good about it uh ch -ch -ch. the mission was quite good you know just a usual kind of gta style shoot -em up mission it was pretty good um voice acting seemed fine in general uh the only some of the bad things let's say the crashing wasn't particularly good um what else was, was not very good oh yeah like if you were running and you wanted to jump over something, like jump over a, you know, a certain area, it wouldn't let you jump very far. You couldn't jump a massive amount, uh, which is a bit annoying because in the heat of the thing, even if you die, it's quite good just to jump. Like on GTA, you could jump over something and get out of a of like a battle a fight. And even if you know you died, it was okay because you got out of it and it added to the drama of it. But this one, you, you can't do it unless it's a really small jump. You can't shoot when you're driving, the crashing thing. Um, hopefully some of these things will be, you know, amended. This might be an early demo, you know. I had some footage of this demo that was, you know, put on YouTube in 2000, early, like mid-2009. So it might just be that very same demo clunked on the Xbox, you know. Um, some of the animations and the general feel of it seemed a bit clunky and a bit kind of big and kind of you know, lofty and just kind of uh, sluggish almost a little bit. Um, and also for me, this might be something you can change when you play the game. I felt the camera was a little too close. I prefer the camera to be a little bit further away. Not too far, a little bit further. Um, I hope both of you can change that. So uh, you might be able to, yeah, actually. You might be able to press the back button. I didn't try that. That's a good point. So that could easily be amended. Uh, so in, in closing, I think there's a lot of promise here. Um, 
mainly I think the promise comes from their kind of creating a real world and a world that feels alive. I think they've done really well at that. There's some gameplay issues, but in general I think if some of those are amended on the final game, you could have a really good game here definitely. So I definitely recommend uh, downloading the demo and uh, check it out for yourself. Uh, if you're a fan of GTA, there's a lot to love here, but there's also a lot to think, well why didn't they just take that from GTA? So take it easy, enjoy the demo and the PS3 de uh, review will be coming soon.